Jerry Carvassier here working with the Photoshop CS4 and the new adjustment features in CS4 are really quite spectacular so what I would like to do is to have you take a peek at this image where we want to make this the sky bluer and we want to make it gradually come down through the image without affecting the foreground area so what I'm going to do initially is to create an adjustment for the levels command here by moving the midtone slider to the right just to darken down that blue sky. I'm not going to be too concerned with the foreground area because I'll show you how this new feature in the mask works that allows us to make a mask based on color selection. So it's really cool. I'll go to masks and what we'll do is we'll move over here to color range and by clicking with the eyedropper I can tra change the uh, mask feature to only work with selected colors. And notice that smooth graduation it can create by using that, that fuzziness slider. I can actually even more selectively select color based on this localized color clusters that actually helps only select the blue information as well. It actually kind of um, compresses the information for me. So if I turn it on, notice the expansion, turn it on here and enable it, what happens is, is we get a nice smooth transition of the blue. If we wanted to add another color to the cluster, we could select something down here and add it that way. But notice this nice smooth transition from the sky now. I'll turn the enable and, and disable off. Okay, I'll go to the layer mask here and we'll turn it off completely and you can see where we started and where we took it to. Nice job, does a wonderful job color range. Use that a lot to make your graduations selections based on color.